what we're going to do is change the water pump in our case 580 it is leaking at the sip so i went to the auto parts and i bought a water pump for my diesel motor that's made by dodge which is a cummins and now we're going to install the water pump into here naturally it's like everything else they make it so crowded and it's just a pain to get to it but this water pump is only two bolts this is what it looks like and it comes with one gasket it's a square o-ring style gasket that fits in fits into here okay I changed this water pump in it when I bought the machine many years ago. So now the seal's leaking. It's a water pump. What can I say? So now we're going to change it out and we're going to go through the procedure. Uh, it's the first time I did it, it was pretty easy to do. I haven't broke anything loose and I haven't done this for quite a few years. So hopefully I can remember. So we're only using one camera. My wife's taking the picture, so they're going to have a little shaking here and there, trying to move in because it is in a hard area to see. Okay. First thing we got to do is put the wrench into the pulley tensioner. I'm going to try to do this by myself. Hope I don't get my fingers. Just lift up the pulley tensioner. And work on the belt and don't slip because my fingers under now the belts off now just move it out of the way and that fan belt when it goes bad is going to be a bear to fix to replace it because the pump is in the front okay we're taking a half inch wrench and I'll get out of the way as soon as I get it on the nut. Okay, we're on one. And it's loosened. Let's get to the other nut. And push. There it goes. I'm going to try to do it by hand so that that ratchet is sort of agreeing. Okay, got one nice rusted bolt out. And this one looks much better because water wasn't draining on it. Okay, so the two bolts are out. And here's the water pump. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little rusty because of I didn't do it right and didn't have enough antifreeze in it. Because I had a problem with a hose and I changed it out and I really didn't put as much antifreeze in it as I should have. But there's the water pump right here. So make sure when you do it, O rings on. And here, actually, I'm going to run and get a drop of oil and I'm going to put it around this O ring right here just to make it nice and slimy with some oil to make it seat better so hold on we'll be right back okay now i got oil all over the o-ring and all over my hands i'm going to put it back into the hole and now we're going to put it straight in 
over here. Okay, now I gotta look real good here, make sure I'm not caught on anything. But I sure don't want the O ring to fall off. There it is. It's seated in good. Take the bolt. Try to hold it up there so I don't move around. Just got it turning in here. Okay, got the one in. the hole. Okay. Get the ratchet again. Get it tighten it down. Fairly snug. Just snugging it in first, not tightening it. Okay. I ball check. Everything looks fine. Now, as long as my hands don't slide off the wrench and give me a good slice, I'm going to snug it up. As soon as I get it back on the nut. There. Okay, I'm snug. Now our next fun part is put Mr. Serpentine belt back on. Okay, I'm gonna get the serpentine belt ready. Like it's supposed to be. Okay, I got it closed. As long as my hand don't slip. <laughs> and naturally, it did go on the bottom pulley right. <laughs> it is now. Okay. Now, everything, just double check it. Easier to double check it now than later. Okay. As you can see, that's how you change a water pump on a Cummins engine. And those water pumps are so easy. I wish everything was that easy. So that's it. I don't know how long it actually took, but actually the only thing I'm cutting out of this video is getting the oil on my gasket. If I had the oil here, I could have done it here. It's a quick job. Now, if you got lots of money, you can take it into the dealer, let them put a new water pump in, and give you a $500 bill. If you're lucky, it's only that. Or you go to the auto parts, pick up one for 50 bucks. I haven't bought the one with the lifetime warranty now, and it was 60 bucks. And put it in. As you can see, it probably took five, 10 minutes. And that's it. Now you just got to fill up your radiator. 
and this time use the proper amount of antifreeze uh, because it had a little rust in there and that was because I did not do it properly so I would recommend that so that's the end of this video thank you for watching thank you for watching my YouTube channel I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it when you get a chance if you would please subscribe to my channel that would help us out thank you